Hello everyone, I'm Miss Molly from the Ash County Public Library. Miss Rhonda from the North Carolina Cooperative Extension will be helping us discover new recipes every week as a part of our Imagine Your Plate series. For our recipes and more summer learning experiences, they will be linked in the description below. <laughs> Hi Miss Rhonda! Hi Molly, how are you? I'm good. Um, we are in Ancient Tales Week. We're deep into our summer learning programs. <laughs> All right, what's our recipe today? Today we're having Legend Dairy Yogurt Bar, believe it or okay. not. Okay. <laughs> so, Legend Dairy. Dairy yeah. is in one of our food Legend groups, right? Dairy. Legend. Dairy. <laughs> yeah. But dairy is one of our food groups, right? Dairy is a very important food group. It's got calcium for your bones and teeth. Okay. All right. What have we got in our basket? We got our bowls and spoons and a measuring cup. And what is this? That is wax paper. Okay. If you don't have wax paper and you have to have parchment paper, that's Fine, either one. All right. And I have yogurt and lemon juice, vanilla, and some strawberries and raspberries. Oh, awesome. Yeah, now, on the recipe that you sent me, it said I could use blueberries, too. You can. But I ended up with raspberries. Is that okay? <laughs> That's perfect. Okay. Any fruit that you have on hand is fine. All right. This seems like a pretty simple recipe we got. Yeah, so what should have, we start with? Yeah, you have to be a little patient for it to freeze in the freezer. But you start with in your bowl. Uh, well, first you can go ahead and line your baking sheet with the wax paper. Okay. Of course, I washed my hands, and you did too. We all saw you do that. <laughs> all right, so just fit it in there anyway. Okay, now we're ready. So you have got, in a large bowl, you're going to combine one cup of the yogurt. And you were telling me an interesting story. We've got non-fat plain yogurt, but I love sour stuff. But how about you? Do you have more of a sweet tooth than that? Sour and sweet. Uh, I'm a big fan of like sour gummy worms. <laughs> but um, yeah, I I like raspberries a little bit more than blueberries. That's why I picked raspberries. And I think I ended up with a vanilla yogurt. Okay, awesome. You could use vanilla or plain, actually any flavor you like. Just kind of watch the amount of sugars that they have mm -hmm. added. Okay, your yogurt. And then you can add one half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. If you think it needs to be sour, more sour, I should say, you don't have to do this, but you can add a fourth of a teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of brightens up flavors a little. When I was a kid, I used to, I would be the one who was eating the lemon and the lime. Plain. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that. Um, if I wanted it a little bit sweeter, what do you think I should do for that? I think uh, maybe some honey or something okay. like that. Yeah, awesome. Just a little in there would be, yeah. I might make it a little bit sweeter. So now there's, believe it or not, with sweet foods, a lot of times we do add salt. Very little, but a little bit of salt brings out the sweetness. That is, sounds very strange, but it's true. So just a fourth of a teaspoon. Yeah, just a shaker or two. There you go. <laughs> This is not an exact recipe, and then you just stir it together. Now, can you tell us what vanilla is? Vanilla is an extract from a Madagascar 
Uh, in Madagascar, they have a lot of vanilla beans. They grow on a tree. And actually, they say that consumption in the world has risen so much that we may have a shortage pretty soon. So That's interesting. <laughs> it doesn't have a nutritional value, but it adds such flavor. Okay. And if you can't afford it, you, it's not true vanilla, but it still tastes pretty good if you get the imitation. All right. I've seen the imitation or the almond extract and a couple other extracts as well. Yes. Would those work? They would. You could definitely do. I like the real almond better. It's not too expensive, uh, but I like to use the extracts and things like that. All right. And then what you do is you pour that yogurt mixture in your lime baking sheet. Just kind of spread it out. This is a lot like white chocolate bark. If you made that, you kind of want this is going to look like that, but it's going to be a frozen treat. Okay. All right. And then you're going to, I'm sure, have you washed your berries already? I washed my berries. I have not cut them up. Okay. So you would just cut them up and just spread them around any way you would like. Okay. So now you've got those raspberries, and of course, you don't have to cut them up. You can just put them right on your bar. Okay. I like to uh, smush up my raspberries a little bit. Yeah. So sure. I might have messy hands here for a second. <laughs> All right. I like the little seeds in my teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is there any particular way that you should cut strawberries? No, just whatever way you like. Okay. Some people go through a lot of process to pull off the cap, and I just usually cut it off, but it doesn't matter however you want to do it. I usually cut mine off, and uh, I've, I used to always do it like this, mm -hmm. but it's hard to handle, so I've, tur I've ended up learning how to turn it like this and then doing always it. Use your, use your flat surface for sure, yes. I'll spread that out. I'll put one more in there. Then once you get that all on there, you're going to freeze that. You're not going to cover the top or anything. You're just going to freeze it just like that. So you need a little room in your freezer for two to three hours. Okay. I made last night and it's just with raspberries oh wow and I ended up I really liked it it's really refreshing especially as hot as it's going to be this summer <laughs> there you go you like new yogurt bark I'm gonna have to make me some but thank you so much for today and we'll see you next week okay. for our into the woods week into the woods. See you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye.